to find the center, I will need to obviously make it level. I have a bubble level here. If you can see the bubble, it will move around until it's in the center of the ring. Now to find the center, that's easy. These are the bearings we sell for reciprolaps. You can find a marble, ball bearing, or these. Okay, once the bubble is in the center, the center of the curve, I will hold it in position and make some marks around it. Then I can still position my drill and mark around it. That will be my visual guide as to where I'm drilling. First will be the handheld method. I'm going to go in, not straight down at first, but at an angle. saw a little bit of white coming through the back. So I'm beginning the process of going out. Now I need to go really quite slowly. Not much pressure at all. And I'm through. step is the countersink process. We design it with the threaded center. We provide this piece of Lexan or polycarbonate. For this I would recommend a slow speed. The polycarbonate is about the right size to fit in the hole so that when you begin this process you won't be all over the piece of glass destroying the surface. With a little water just running to it Turn the sink to maintain your angle. The bevel is basically full size now. Now I'm beginning the process of boring into the sink where the seat drain will be flush with the sink. And it's by no means one of the best kept secrets, but going slow and being patient is your best friend with, when drilling and grinding on glass. In this case, the same drill for the sink. Part of the sink kit. Put a little water in there. Go press on. Very slowly and carefully. Make contact with my sink. Again, up and down and slow, never giving much pressure for more than two seconds or three at the most. Now I'm through, obviously. Oh, turn that off. I'm through because all the water drained out. We have a new grade of duct tape that is excellent when wet. Going to cover up the hole on the back.
Okay, now with the duct tape on it, I'm gonna not use the dribbling water from the faucet, but instead I'm just going to fill it up with water. It's recommended that this be done with a hand drill. Uh, not quite sure why, but the forces put on with a hand drill seems better for this step than with a drill press. So with the pilot in the hole, You have too much ground glass, you pour it away, you check your edge, a little fresh water, and continue. Almost done. Again, the duct tape is holding. I'm done with my drilling, so I can open that up. I'm ready for your sink fitting, your drain fitting. Then if you need to, you can go in with a hand pad or one of our um, handy pads. Now, mentioning the handy pad, that's this little tool. Just a very simple little Wipe around, we'll dress up that edge. What I have is a pan in which I will be putting my glass for drilling. I have my submersible pump, drill head assembly, has a valve onto which goes this rubber hose. The wood helps hold the jacket in place while I'm drilling. This is the drill head assembly. Water flows through. There's a hollow shaft in there. The water flows out through the drill bit. This will just simply screw up into the drill head assembly. The bevel causes it to seat tightly. You need to give it a nice firm seat. I'm going to check for accuracy on the drill. You can see it is not perfectly centered. What I'll do, and I'll get it to the point where it's towards me, I'll give it a tap. And that's what always works. You, the valve will allow the flow of water to come through the drill, and when you're drilling, it will be flowing around this grinding area. The drill is on running true, water is on, come down nice and slow, holding the glass, up and down, slow as your friend. Inspect this one more time. I am very close to the bottom of the glass. Now as I near the edge, I am going to go particularly slow. Water off. The drill, the glass is in the drill. Again, it's hollow. Air pressure to get it up. And we're good to go.